guys, it's KJM and I am back with another new movie, new year, new movie, Hallmark movie review. Last night at 8 p.m. Eastern, The Legend of the Lost Locket premiered starring Natasha Burnett and Viv Leacock. Now I'm gonna say this, I think they're both in the series, the Hallmark series, When Calls the Heart. I do not watch, I'm not a hearty, so I don't watch When Calls the Heart and I know it's like been on for many seasons. Um, The Way Home is really the only se series of Hallmarks that I've watched from beginning to end and absolutely enjoy. So I'm not familiar with both of these actors' range, but baby, The Legend of the Lost Locket, I absolutely loved it. I'm giving this movie an 8 out of 10, an 8 out of 10 shout out to Natasha and Viv. I thought they had amazing chemistry. This movie had history. It had love. It had mystery. It had antiques. Did I mention it had more love? It had at least two love stories brooming. And it was just so much going on. And I just thought, by the way, Natasha, if you're watching this, I think you are stunningly beautiful. Whoever who decided to put you in yellow, especially for the ball against your beautiful chocolate skin, I was amazed. I thought in every scene, your beauty and your essence spoke from inside and out. And I was like, yes. This is what I've been waiting for. We are in spring, we are in love, and we are dealing with the legend of the lost locket. Sorry, I just wanted to get the title in there. Okay, I am not even sure where to start with this movie. I'm going to tell you this. There's a lot of moving parts, so it's possible I could mess up people's names, like for the characters. So much happened in this movie, and I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. And I was on the verge of somewhere between an 8 and a 9, but I'm going to say it's a solid 8. Um, because, which I just think is amazing, Hallmark really hasn't delivered much lately that I'm excited about. This movie's still on my DVR. I'm definitely going to be watching it again. Okay, now I'm rambling. Let me get into why I'm so excited about the legend of the Lost Locket. Okay, so opening scene, we see uh, James and Lady Wilma. And they are in love, and for some reason, they cannot be together. So um, they decide they have to separate. And so Wilma takes off her locket, and half of that locket has a picture, you know, of James, and the other half has a picture of herself. She gives James her locket, her half with her picture in it, and she takes his. They both go back to their regular life. James somehow comes to America and he renames himself Jacob Jameson. Somehow Wilma faked her death, I think back in England, and she makes it to um, Wilmington, not Wilmington. That really got me. So Wilmington, but it's Wilmington, not Wilmington, like Wilmington, Delaware. Okay. So um, she makes it to Wilmington and she finds, um, you know, James, a.k.a. Jacob, on this bridge. And she had, it turns out she had faked her death. And then within 24 hours, she moved to America. So she renamed herself Jane. So she was Jane Jameson because immediately when the two of them reunite on this bridge, they are still so in love. Um, he has his half of the locket. She somehow lost her locket in a fire um, and so this is how Amelia's mom is able to find the locket or buy the locket in England because that's where Jane, aka Wilma Jane Jameson, faked her death and then lost her half of the locket, okay? So this whole thing is that Amelia now owns an antique shop and she has a business partner and the last thing her mom had been working on for years, because Amelia inherited the shop from her mother, that she had been working on trying to find the lost locket, the other half of the locket that would have Lady Wilma's photo on it. And so Amelia leaves uh, London and then she heads to Wilmington, Massachusetts. And she is like, she's got to find this locket. She's got to finish this mystery because it was the last thing her mom really wanted. And she's got to do it for her mother. Plus, if she solves this mystery and finds a locket, she can expand her business to Paris and Amsterdam. 
and baby, that would do wonders for her little antique shop in London. So Amelia sets her sights on Wilmington, and when she lands there, the first person she's greeted by is Sheriff Marcus, honey. Only she doesn't know that Marcus is a sheriff. She just knows that he lives in the town of Wilmington, and Wilmington is very small. Immediately sparks fly between the two characters, and you just know between the laughter and the glances that the potential of real love is here. I, I really loved the, the, first of all, Natasha, beautiful accent. I really loved the chemistry between her and Vic. And I just thought like throughout this entire movie, I kept saying, oh my God, they're so cute. They're so stinking cute. Like all of our, these two are so stinking cute. This is how much I love this movie. I would like more of this. It, I thought it was great writing. I laughed. I felt emotional. I felt love. I felt hope, not just for Amelia and Marcus's relationship, but also hope that the mystery of what really happened with Jacob Jameson, aka James, and Jane Jameson, aka William Wilma Jane Jameson, and what happened to this locket? So these two set on a mystery to find this locket, but it turns out Wilmington is celebrating 200 years of this town existing. So Amelia being into antiques lets the town know, well, more like she lets Marcus's sister know who um, is a part owner of the B&B &B that she was staying at, that she's more than willing to set up like kind of an antique workshop where people can come and see some of the antiques of Wilmington. Wilmington used to be a very booming town many, many decades ago, but now things have slowed, shops have closed, and they really need help bringing in some tourism. So here comes Amelia that's originally from Sussex, London, Sussex, England, and then her business is in London. Um, here she comes in and she swoops in and she tells the town she can help. She gets right to antiquing, but she also gets to trying to find out what happened to the other half of the locket. She even breaks in to where the town records are, honey. And who catches her? But Sheriff Marcus. I mean, if you see that scene, it's so comical, it's so funny, it's so light, it's so good, it's so right. It was really some good writing. Like, I don't know, I laughed when he caught her breaking in and then she got thrown in jail. And I was just like, baby, how's the love story gonna take off here if you are in jail? But it still does take off because he realizes, even though he can't fully trust Amelia, Sheriff Marcus is in it for the long run. Like, he understands there's something very mysterious about her. There's something about Amelia that makes him want to trust her and so where what happens with Sheriff Marcus and Amelia they unlock the mystery but not before somebody else in the town is like following Amelia and trying to figure out why she's in town and what she's looking for and so we've got mystery we've got history we've got laughter we've got love um we've got antiques did I mention we have more love and I just could not wait to see how this entire movie played out first of all this movie had me at hello first five minutes in I knew I was gonna love it and oftentimes that's how I feel about most Hallmark movies within the first five to fifteen minutes I generally know, like, is this going to be something enjoyable or is there going to be a lot of pain? I enjoyed the ups, the downs. I thought this movie was beautifully done. I thought Amelia, a.k.a. Natasha, looked so stunning at the ball. And I just thought, wow, this is some of the best work Hallmark has done this year. Megan has not watched yet, but I already told her that this was super cute. It is a must watch, people. I don't say that often. This is a must watch. You are going to fall in love with these two characters and you are also going to see, um, you know, Jacob and Jane reunite in America in Wilmington. And you're going to see that when they first meet on that bridge, baby, what does Jacob do? He proposes to the woman because he still had her locket. He still had her locket in his heart. He still had it around his chest. That was his lady. And honey, she even faked her death for him. So, I mean, there's so much more. I think I have to do a part two on this because I just, I want to tell you guys what I really loved, what worked for me, what didn't work for me. But I'm giving Legend of the Lost Locket an eight out of 10. I think Hallmark, this is some of the best work you've done in 2024. And I can't wait to rewatch this movie. Did you guys watch? If you did watch, let me know what you think. If you have not watched, you need to go see this. Um, 
There's going to be a part two because I just want to show you all how great uh, Natasha looked in her ballroom gown. Okay, so stay tuned.